YouTube, how's it going? I'm sure you all are quite sick of our G80 content now. We've been doing so much work to that car, especially getting ready for Compello. So today we'll be working on our WRX that we got Adrian. So throughout this series, we'll show you guys what we can do with a small budget. We're not going full on coilovers. We're not going best wheels. We just got to go for a budget build and make it look <laughs> as nice as possible. All right, so these are the parts we have for today. I don't know why there's two iBack boxes. It should just be one, right? And we also have a mystery box. No branding on this, so I don't know what it is. Ah, yes. <laughs> okay, I did mention it was a budget build, right? But we had to go genuine for these. We, we're trying to make the car stand out. We're still within budget, and I think these pieces make the car look so much nicer. Ah, oh, I'll tell you why this is part of the budget build. This is a very good example, right? So we actually got this car on the Friday, and by Sunday, it was a plasterboard on the freeway and it hit our car. So if you come over here and look a bit closer, you can see it's all been scuffed up, all here, right? So instead of going to Subaru and asking for the same part, we might as well upgrade it at the same time, right? So win-win for us. All right, next box. Oh, this space is. This is for another video guys, this is G80 part. Um, not for this video, we're focusing on WX today, so. So for this build, we decided to go springs instead of coilovers because we want to stay budget. And also, because these set of springs offer a two inch drop, so that's more than enough to fuel our guards, get like a nice one finger gap fitment. That's all we wanted, we didn't want to slam the car or anything like that. It's a four door car, so we want to keep it as daily as possible. All right, so that's the... Which one goes with him? Wow, are those springs? <laughs> it's been a long day, I'm really sorry. This looks like... Yeah, we um, those cronuts. Yeah, the, but like, which one's which, but? Huh? That, it's written on there. Yeah. So guys, so remove springs is a bit more difficult than coilovers because you have to actually remove the spring itself. You might think it's easy and you just undo the top bolt and it comes out, but this spring is going to come launching at you and you don't want that to happen. Got to use these guys. This is essential in order to not hurt yourself. All right, so now I'm going to attempt this and hopefully it goes all right. <laughs> okay, let's uh, get your eye on this. Oh, there we go. Okay, I'm gonna go. Look at it. Dirty forts, mate. Dirty forts. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Do you want to see my nuts? <laughs> I'm hilarious, especially at 9 p.m. at night. Is it 9 o'clock? You know why IBAC makes their springs red? Because red is proven to go faster. <laughs> First drop guys, so maybe when we come back tomorrow morning it might even drop another, you know, a little bit and we might be happy with that. Well honestly, two rounds, that's not too bad. That's actually quite nice. So, what, like, At least I got rid of the full gap. Once we get the wheels more more aggressive offset, that's like one finger gap. One finger gap's not bad, you know? One. Yeah. Maybe one and a half. But one it's half. still it's it's a good daily height. Oh uh, yeah, like two at the front, but it will settle. It's it's like after like 
yeah. finger it up upwards. I reckon tomorrow morning when we come back, it's gonna be perfect. Yeah, look at the camber at the back now. Natural camber. Either that or misalignment. All right, that's it for tonight, guys. I think we're gonna call it a night. We're all wrecked. It's what? 10.30, 10.30, and we have work tomorrow as well, so. Let's call it, and then in a few days, we'll go to MK Motorsport, get the wheels put on, and alignment, and it should be perfect. Night, guys. Motorsport now. We're finally gonna put the wheels on the 2022 WRX. It's gonna look amazing, guys. Follow us. Set up, we were able to put on our stock tyres. A little bit of a stretch, but I reckon that's perfect. That means probably next to no cutting. No cutting makes our life a bit easier too, less labour involved. And can't wait to drop the car and, and have it settle a bit more as well. I think it should be perfect. Though. 